Hey there. Well, today I decided I was going to go ahead and do my house tour. And I apologize if this thing does a bunch of uh, autofocus. I don't really know how to turn that off on my tablet. So I'm obviously recording this on my tablet instead of my computer stuff since I'm starting outside. Um, so I thought I would start out here just so that I could show you my bicycle because I've talked about my bike in my previous videos, how much I love to ride my bike <laughs> and how I do all my errands on it, which, you know, I've got all kinds of crap in this basket, but I've got my front basket. And this is my handy dandy laundry basket that I've attached to the back. <laughs> so it's attached on there. And I put this over here just because I had a pink seat like this. And my little cat, Lightning, before he was actually my cat, <clears throat> he would jump up here and he scratched it all up. He clawed my seat all up and destroyed it. And so when I ordered this one, because I couldn't find another pink one, I had to order this one, this white one. I thought, I don't want him destroying it, so I put this thing over it <laughs> so that he doesn't do that. This is kind of a messy area, so I you don't really have to look at all that, but I can't even see what I'm recording because it's so bright out here. But I was talking in my previous videos about how lightning likes to jump up in the basket and peek into the window here to let me know, and he's like meows and stuff to let me know that he wants in <laughs> and I have to chain it up to the air conditioner <laughs> and I have to like lock it on here because he will knock the bike over. I'll come out and it'll be knocked over and it still can get knocked over even though it's chained on there, but it kind of stops it from like totally crashing into the pavement, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Hey, Oscar. So this is my little front porch area, and um, I just got this brand new welcome mat because I had this welcome mat over here, and there are these feral puppies that live in the neighborhood that came and destroyed it, and I couldn't find another one like this, so I just... I had to order a new one, but anyway, this is my little patio area, and I don't cut the grass, someone else does, but as you can see, it has not been cut in like forever, and that's my little bird feeder that I built and created for these birds that I love dearly. Oh, nice. Great timing. Fabulous. Okay, so much for peaceful and quiet this morning. Um... <laughs> Hang on. Sorry about that. My landlady's son lives across the street, and he's a tow truck driver, so that was him going out in his tow truck. <laughs> sorry, sorry. See, that's what I mean. It's like during the day, you just, it's like so loud around here sometimes. But anyway, what I was trying to say was that my birds that I love so much that I built that feeder for, um, they're awesome. I think you call them, I think they're, it's pronounced Nok Ian, these birds, and they, yesterday, I heard them out here squawking and squawking, and usually when they do that, it's because there's some sort of predator that's come around, and when I looked outside, I saw the birds, like, going down on the ground, and they're, like, attacking and attacking, and I looked, and it was a snake. It was just one of those green like garden snakes or here they call them tree snakes because they get up in these trees and stuff but they were attacking a snake which totally freaked me out because I'm scared of snakes and then a little while later I heard them doing it again and I thought oh no don't tell me the snake is back because they ran it off they ran that snake off then I looked out and I see them doing the same thing in the street and I look out and it's a monitor lizard one of these big huge monitor lizards I think is what you call them they were going after that thing and then I heard them again this morning I was trying to get ready for all of this and um I was in there and I heard them squawking again 
And I look outside, and sure as world, that snake was back here. I, so I'm not going back there just in case it's come back again because <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. But anyway, so we'll go inside now for the actual house tour. <laughs> and um, we're going to start in the front room, which is where the uh, ceiling collapsed. If you watched my previous videos, this is the ceiling that, well, it... It's a new ceiling now, but this is where it all collapsed, and so it was a complete disaster. <laughs> anyway, see, this is just a little small area. It's not a very big room at all. There's Oscar. Oscar! Hey, Oscar! He tries to avoid looking at the camera sometimes when I'm trying to record him. Here's Biscuit. Little Biscuit Bubble. Hi! Hi, Biscuit. My sweet baby. Hi. He's up here enjoying the cat tree. And this is practically new. And look at this. They have absolutely destroyed this cat tree. <laughs> I mean, overall, it still looks pretty decent. But, I mean, they have really just gone to town on this thing. But they're enjoying it, and that's the whole point. I mean, you know, that's what I bought it for. And this is their cat tunnel. And if you saw my last video, I was doing a toy um, show and tell, cat toy show and tell, which is these things here. And I don't know what happened to their little yellow ball with the feathers on it. But And this is their old cat tree which was falling apart, but I just saved it because they still like to use it and, you know, get in there and stuff. And, and actually, this month, that's my biscuit on the calendar. I um, help admin a cat page. I have a cat page on Facebook, but the cat page that I help admin, they do a calendar every year with um, the different people that admin on it. And so this month happens to be my biscuit. And he was sitting in this thing <laughs> when I took that picture. But anyway, this is my front room area that has my biscuit on the table. Oh, that's nice, biscuit. Thank you. Oh, and I meant to take this off, but I'm just not going to worry about it. I'm, this is my computer tower. And I keep it covered because when Lightning, the other little cat that I've kind of adopted, um, he's an outdoor cat, but he comes in and out whenever he feels like it. And he sometimes has a tendency to spray, even though he's neutered. I had him neutered, but because he was neutered later in life after he'd already, you know, gotten used to spraying, he has a tendency to want to do it. I Usually he doesn't in here because I've caught him many times when he's about to and I managed to get him outside before he did. But I didn't want to risk him maybe coming in here when I couldn't see him and spraying on my computer. So I've got that covered up with a, a raincoat, <laughs> basically. Anyway, this is, yeah, this is the front room, and this is where I used to spend a lot of time, actually, because if you, you know, if you open up these curtains, and you're sitting over here, I don't know if I can do it, but, um, you know, if you're sitting over here, you can look out and see the palm trees and stuff, and it's really pretty. So I love the view. I really do. I think it's really a pretty view. Sorry for the screen. And these are the curtains that I had to buy, the little cheap, yeah, kind of curtains. I mean, they're all right, but the curtains I had up in here, um, the sun comes in all day long, and those curtains that I had up that I really liked were just so eaten up by the sun that they were very brittle, and so they started to rip and come apart, and so... I thought once we were done with, you know, getting the ceiling put in and the paint job, which, you know, I don't know how well you can see the paint, but, you know, we paint, paint I, mostly I did all this. But anyway, um, once the paint was done and everything looked all pretty again, I didn't want to put a ripped up curtain, so I just went up the street and found these little cheap 
curtains just to have something up here until I can get some other ones. Hey, Biscuit, what you doing? Chill, sure, Biscuit. You want to say anything? You want to say hi? No? Okay. So anyway, so I guess now we'll just go into the other room. Um, this is <laughs> my trying to be creative here because um, behind here is like all these, this hideous, it's just hideous. <laughs> so I've hung this up to try and hide some of the hideousness of it. Oh, and I had mentioned in... Um, a video. Oh, I bet that fan is making all kinds of fan noise in this thing. I mentioned in a video about the cat litter that smells so fabulous. This is it. This cat litter is phenomenal. This particular brand is the one that I, I ride my bike like six miles round trip to go into town and lug back on my bike because this particular brand is wonderful. And this is like an espresso scent, I think is what it is. Or I think it's espresso or mocha or something. But it makes the whole house smell like fresh brewed coffee. So anyway, so this is the bitchin', as my ex called it. Um, <laughs> he called it the bitchin', which I think is really funny because it's the bedroom and the kitchen the bitchin <laughs> but I love it I love having all of this in one room it's just to me this is really awesome so this is the main area of the house which as you can see it's small I mean this is a small house it's basically a one room house because this little front area is not really I mean you know it's kind of separate but it's not really much of a room and this is my little vanity area which I don't even use this to get ready you know this is a mess but you know it's just all my little knick-knacky you know junky things like you know charging cables and batteries and flashlight and those are my headphones that I use when I make my videos mostly this one but sometimes I use that one um, so those, that's where I keep those this is where I keep all my, like, makeup and nail polish and stuff. And then, let's see, I use this mirror to get ready with. I don't ever use this. Hi. And I keep all my little hair things in here and hairbrush and stuff. And that's where I keep my shoes that I use when I ride my bike. The bottom shoes are actually my painting shoes. Those kind of became my painting shoes when I was painting the house and stuff. So and this is part of that cat tree that broke off that I can't seem to repair. I bought some nails and tried to hammer it in but it didn't work. And there's the pretty fluffy cat bed that they once in a while use but I think I like it more than they do. My nice soft blankets that I did a video on recently. Sorry about that focus thing. I hate that. Does that not drive y'all crazy? That just drives me insane. I can't stand that. Anyway, and this is my little laptop area. And I had mentioned in another video about this, uh, how I had created this contraption for my camera. Well, this is it. This is the contraption. <laughs> <laughs> this here, which I don't know how well you can see it. I may have to turn the light on in here because it's kind of dark. I'm standing anyway. This cylinder thing, that's, that is what the light bulb, that light bulb up there that I bought to put in for the ceiling light, it came in this. And I had saved the container because it's kind of a cardboard. And so I put this thing, this is this thing I had bought a long time ago. It's a little bendy thing that you can use to put your, like, cell phone in. So you can, like, I guess, put your cell phone in it and record videos or something with it. I don't know. I bought it for something else originally. But anyway, I've put my camera inside and used that little bendy thing to go down through there. 
and it clamps onto the table. And that's why when, I, when you see one of my videos, if the video kind of does like this, it's because if I touch the table, it kind of moves the camera around. <laughs> There's my Blue Yeti microphone. My little speaker. <laughs> so, yeah. And then this is a little roll-out table. But I like this table because I can roll it around. I can put it where I want it. Oh, stop with the... I'm going to have to turn the light on in here, I think, because I don't know. I don't know if it's just because there's not enough light. It's making this autofocus thing do that. I hate that so bad. But anyway, um, yeah, I can roll this table out, and that's what I do whenever I'm making those videos. I roll this out, and I turn it around so that um, I have this curtain close so that I've got that as my background so you can kind of see that a little bit better with that curtain closed another loud truck outside it's too bad that's not one of the ones that has the monkeys on the back lots of trucks go by with monkeys on the back because they go pick the coconuts out of the trees and then there's my little chair and table which I like to sit at in the mornings especially when I'm having my coffee so I can look outside and I can watch my birds and I wish they would come while I'm doing this video I wish my birds would come to eat out of there I just love those birds and I love them even more now that they're alerting me to dangers but anyway this is my little thing this is what I use to cook on <laughs> Let me stand back and see if I can get it to stop doing this autofocus. Anyway, I store like my pots and pans and stuff and some of my cooking supplies in there. And my stoves. <laughs> this, 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 and underneath that yellow thing is another one. They're, um, I think it's called induction cooker. It's like an induction stove. So I sit it up here, and this is where I cook. And then I also bring this table over here next to this so that I have more workable space. But, you know, I use this to cook. I've got some of my little stuff in here that I use. And then this is my sink and other area, or the refrigerator, and then I've got stuff storaged over here that I use for stuff and I just got this the other day at the 20 bot shop it, these little things are I mean, you can stack a bunch of them if you want to but I just wanted to have a couple of things up here to store some stuff like my fruit loops and then this chocolate cereal which I don't know it's called Coco Jola <laughs> But I bought this one day when I was at that place called The Mall, which is not The Mall, um, A1, where I buy the cat litter way down in town. Um, they had some of these, and I bought some. I thought, I'll try them, and they're really good. I was actually surprised. So when I went there the last time, I picked up a few, since I don't go there often anymore. But well, this is where I store my cat food. I mean, you know, I have to store things the best I can. Like this thing back here, I keep, that's actually a, a cooler to fill with ice, which is what I used to do with it, but now I use it to store the cat food, like the dry cat food. I have some little storage things here, and this is my toaster, which is covered with a shower cap <laughs> to try to keep it clean on the inside. And this is where I store my straws. And, uh, so yeah, this is my little kitchen area. And this cabinet is dumb. It's like, I don't know who thought this idea up. It's like, they've got this as the door to get in. And then all of the storage space on the sides, you can't get to. 
So this is completely unusable space over here. Basically the area right in here, which is also where the sink stuff comes down, the plumbing stuff comes down, that's really the only usable space because otherwise you have to climb into here to try and get back in there to get to anything. It makes no sense whatsoever. And there's nowhere to put your feet. So when you're standing here doing dishes, you got nowhere to put your feet. Like, you know, normal sinks, there's an opening there so your feet kind of can go up under it. Not with this one. So it's very difficult if you have a lot of dishes to wash. <laughs> and I stuck this thing in here. I just made this to stick in here because my cats want to open it up and go inside and I don't want them doing that. So I put that there to keep them from doing it. <laughs> and this is my oven. This is the oven I use to cook in. It's just a small toaster oven, but as you can see, you know, there's not really room in here for anything else. And that's where I keep my coffee maker and this Hello Kitty hot water pot. So this, you just put water in, you heat the water up in that, which is what I use for lots of things, like when I make my iced coffee. Um, and up here is just some little decorations. I've got these cute little kitties. I got a white one, a black one, and an orange one so that it represents, you know, basically it represents Biscuit, Oscar, and Lightning. <laughs> and this little coffee cup here, which is like way too small for coffee. I mean, this is like really small. This was a free gift when I ordered my coffee because I have to order coffee online. <laughs> so, and I use this as a... This I just created on my own. It's a an incense burner. So, and then that's a coffee cup back there that I made, I had made years and years ago with two of my cats that have long passed away. But anyway, so that's that little kitchen area. And then over here, this actually is a sink. For some reason, I guess they figured having this sink wasn't enough you need to have another sink over here I guess for the bathroom area but I don't use this sink I don't need it and it's it's again it's kind of wasted space so I bought this this is basically a table which I took the legs off put it across there to cover the sink turn the water off I shut the water off and I turned the sink spout around so that I could put the microwave on here and then this is where I've got my, this is my instant coffee that I use for making my iced coffee. And then my, this is like natural, like natural sugar, so it's not bleached or whatever. Creamer, white sugar. And then this is my ground coffee that I have to order where I got the free cup. And this is just some leftover MCT powder that I was taking for a while, but it's really expensive, so I kind of quit taking it. It's supposed to help curb your appetite and stuff, but I don't know. And then this is my bag with bags and stuff in it that I use for if I go shopping. Take that. And that stuff stored up under there. I've got like my laundry stuff back in there, and this is where I've got like hair products and these are the water jugs that I have delivered because this is where we get our drinking water. And then my bird seed for my Noak Ian birds. Now it's all, uh, I was going to show you what they look like, but who knows, they might show up before I'm done. Anyway, and then this is where I hang my broom. These are the typical brooms that they use here. I store my little dustpan over there. And this is where the cats eat, got their food thing. And I have this sitting in, um, I'm not sure why that's, what that is. Um, I have this sitting in a tray with water <clears throat> to try to keep the ants from getting in the food. So that's a little trick if you 
have trouble with ants getting in your pet's food or something, put it in a tray and put a little water in there to keep them from going in. And then their water thing. Oh, and in Thai houses, they don't have closets. Closets just don't exist unless maybe you're rich or something. So we have like wardrobes. So, and you can see this is very small. <laughs> Two drawers. And I mean, this was here when I moved in. And I got my little Hello Kitty stuff up there and just kind of store little knickknacks up there. And then this is the bathroom, which did not get painted when the ceiling collapsed. And this is what I was talking about in another video that I wish I hadn't run out of paint because it needs to be painted. This was not painted properly the first time. And this is what color the ceiling used to be out there, but now it's a different one. And see in here, this is our hot water heater. That's how you heat your hot water. You push that button on the bottom. And it makes your water come out and heats the water. So, yeah. <laughs> and there's my toilet, which thankfully is a Western toilet. And there's my 360 spin mop that I just bought. And I got these, like, glass block windows in here, which is kind of cool. And over here I've got my little storage thing for my towels and toilet paper. This is my new towel I just bought, which I'm all excited about. Pretty yellow color. And I also bought myself a, an orange one. See, I just, and I mentioned that in another video. I said, you'll see how colorful I am, that I'm a very colorful person. I like a lot of different colors, and I like a lot of color. <laughs> oh, and this is the interesting wall. Sorry, don't mean to offend anyone. That was here, I mean, um, door. <laughs> that was here when I moved in. That's It's a glass door pain but <laughs> but anyway so this is it y'all this is my little home and I love it I absolutely love living here I love this house oh and those are the walls I was talking about that has the like um like panels flat panels that I had to stop okay come on focus that was the one that I couldn't use really the roller on. I had to use the paintbrush, which was so time consuming. But anyway, I hear my birds out there. I hear them. I was really hoping that they would come and eat something so that you could see them. But yeah, this is where I like to sit and look out the window and watch the birds and this is where I spend my time the majority of my time and I love it and there's my fan that you probably hear in the videos all the time because it's always running <laughs> 24 hours a day because when you live in a hot climate like it is here you got to have airflow it looks like the boys are playing here we go I guess they decided to put on a little show for us. Hear my birds squawking out there. That must mean there's something around. Go back over here real quick and look. Because when they start going, ee, 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 it's because they're, there's one up there. I don't know if you can see him. He's sitting there. I wish he'd come down and eat real quick. I don't have much space left on here. I, I deleted all kinds of stuff on this tablet to have room to make this video. And even after deleting like tons and tons of stuff, it still said I only had like 35 minutes to record. I'm like, what? Now well, I was hoping they would come down, but he might know that I'm wanting to record him or something. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little house tour. I wanted everything to be all perfect and stuff, which it's never going to be. So, you know, I just decided you can't be perfect. There's going to be little things that aren't exact and aren't right. But anyway, just take a peek around the corner. No, they're not eating. Oh, well. 
So, I guess this is where we started and this is where we'll leave off. And that's the little bungalow that's vacant next door that I was, that the cats stayed in while all this construction was going on in here. So, that's where they stayed. So, it was nice and convenient. But anyway, this is, this is where I live, y'all. So, I hope you enjoyed it and might not have been exactly ASMR, but, you know, I see a lot of people do house tours and um, may not be quite the ASMR experience, but hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!